Hi, Mark Durland, Director of Instruction at the Durland Golf School at Naples Grand. I'd like to discuss gear effect and more specifically horizontal gear effect. So let's start by defining gear effect. What is gear effect? When I hit the ball anywhere but the center of the club face, it's going to create twisting of the club head. Now with fairway woods and drivers, when the club head twists one direction, it's going to impart the opposite spin on the golf ball. For instance, if I hit it off the toe of the club for a right-handed player and the club twists clockwise, the golf ball is actually going to come out with counterclockwise twisting or, or spin would be the more appropriate word for the golf ball, but counterclockwise spin, so draw spin. So where does the, and the, really the way that to think about that is like two gears meshing in a machine. You know, one turns one way and the other turns the opposite direction and, you know, and the teeth come together or, or mesh together. So where does the horizontal uh, component or aspect come into it when we talk about gear effect? And very simply, what we're doing there is we're just talking about toe strikes and heel strikes. You know, this is moving horizontally across the club face. So a toe strike and a heel strike. And what happens with a toe strike is the club is going to twist in a clockwise fashion and it's going to impart counterclockwise spin on the golf ball so the golf ball is actually going to the ball is going to launch right but it's going to draw back towards the middle of the fairway and when I hit it off the heel it's going to create counterclockwise twisting of the club head imparting the opposite spin or clockwise spin on the golf ball so it'll fade back to the center It's really uh, something that the manufacturers build in. It has to do with bulge and I don't uh, of the club face, and I don't want to get into all that right now. But it's basically built in there by the manufacturer. So when we do hit it off the center of the club face, it's basically correcting the flight. Uh, so the ball will stay, uh, hopefully, stay in play. So a couple things to know about horizontal gear effect and, and some observations that I've made through the uh, assist with the assistance of TrackMan is that with toe strikes and with heel strikes um, we're not going to get the transfer of energy because of the twisting of the club face um, so we're not going to get the the distance that we typically get when we hit it off, off um, you know more towards the toe or more towards the heel and, and the other thing that I see a lot um, is I see a lot of the big misses come with off-center hits especially people who have high club head speeds so you know the ball might be hit off the toe but it but it uh, overdraws or it overfades, and you know, and then we start to bring the trouble on the golf course that's left and right into play. So hopefully that uh, helps you understand horizontal gear effect a little bit better and, and gear effect overall. Um, and if you have any questions, please contact me at mark at derlingolf.com or on Twitter at Derlingolf. Thanks for watching.